Is that Chris? YouTube, y'all already know who it is. It's look at Jay here, man. Back with another video, y'all. And tonight, man, we got a crazy and a wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like, man, DJ Academic's name has been trending all over social media after he pretty much went live and shared some information that got him looking crazy. And now his name is trending over something that's way deeper than I should even think that we're not even gonna touch on. But it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got DJ Academics and Metro Boomin on the roster. Yes, y'all, we got Academics and producer Metro Boomin on the roster, and it seems like these two exchanged some words. Or really, DJ Academics went off on Metro Boomin after Metro Boomin clowned him after his situation, what's been going on all over social media, and he said some things that's very personal, and we gotta talk about it. Now, before we get into all this, y'all know my little routine. Man, just hit that like button, bruh. And smash that notification bell so that you know you can be notified anytime I drop a video, bruh. And I can also keep y'all updated on this situation. Now I'm gonna get out time to hit that like button and smash that bell. Mm-hmm. Man, y'all got me. Mm-hmm. All right, Ben. Now, basically, what we got going on, as I said, y'all, we got DJ Academics and Metro Boomin on the roster. Now, if y'all don't know, Academics name has been trending all over social media after um, he pretty much, I don't know if it was a podcast, he put a video up on his YouTube, but he went on to speak about his ex and she pretty much like did some downright bad things for him. And one of the worst things that she did, they said that she took 500K out of his safe at his home. I'm okay. Why this? In, in, by the way, you know where this girl thinks she has some leverage? She be going through my emails and all that type of shit. I'm at my crib sleeping. She sucks some dick. I fall asleep. She run through, try to get in my emails. Oh, let me see if I can find out something about you. Like, what? Before we even got here, she was like, yo, I'm going to tell the world. I'm going to tell the world, oh, you're not a millionaire. Gang. See my TD account, nigga, with $400,000. I got tens of millions in motherfucking stocks and bonds. What the fuck is you talking about? But this is what this woman really thinks she got over a nigga. She want to be in your bank account. She want to be in every single thing about you. Now, let me tell you, this is going to be the most egregious thing, I swear. This is going to be the most egregious thing. And if anybody, and if she actually denies this, I got all the proof. I could have had this woman in jail for 40 years. Are y'all listening to me? For 40 years. This is how forgiving I am, and this is why y'all going to call me a simp, and I'm going to take it. Chat. There was a point. I don't, I don't know more. So for all y'all who think y'all got it, y'all just gonna come get a different result. There's a time I used to have a million dollars cash in my crib. That's a fact. Do you know this stole half a million dollars from me? Cash. Bro, I had them in safes and all type of shit. Nigga, I'm not checking the money all the time. I had money just sitting there. I gambled, nigga. When I gamble, I pick money up cash. When Shorty moved to Houston, like, whatever, you know, we, like, broke up or whatever. Not really peepish. I got a million dollars in cash. A million. <laughs> Not talking about 50, a million. <laughs> One day, I get a new money counter. I said, let me try my new money counter, and I get a band. So I, I, I like, count my money and wrapping the bands around them shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're not like that, I'm sorry. So I'm counting my money. My nigga, I had a million. I remember I had a million. Now I might have given my mom like 30 grand here. I might have. But I should have like definitely over like 950. Nah, definitely not 100. 900 thou. I count my money. I got $400,000. Now, if y'all don't know, Academics is one of the top bloggers, reporters on uh, Instagram slash YouTube, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, it's his ex that he's been dealing with. And pretty much he exposed her because she tried to expose him. I even heard she sent his private part to some rappers. And she even went on to um, get a choo-choo ran on her in his crib when he was flat out sloppy drunk. That don't sound right. I go on my, I, I go on my, I go on my, my, my camera. I go to my, my, my DVR. I, I'm looking what's going on. Gang, this is facts. And I'm not trying to make her look crazy. And I'm not trying to put her in no type of weird position. This is reality. Brother, 
this is a girl who I've been dealing with for like two years on and off. We not steadily like we, we were like, you know, hang out, hang out, hang out, not really hang out, hang out, hang out, hang out, not really hang out. That type of shit. You feel me? She ain't she she's actually a like a really good girl. Like she's a girl who kinda gives like really nice energy, like not one of them like sexy red type turns, like not to disrespect her either. When I look at my camera in the morning, gang. The shorty was getting like I, I don't even I don't even like the, the, she was getting trained by my two bands like on my pool deck the night before when I'm sleeping I bet this is what happened nigga, I couldn't believe it I'm like what nigga I invited you over here I paid a lip the lift was like two hundred and since then bro his name has been trending all over social media and I didn't really cover it because I don't really care too much about it because I don't really care too much about what people got on got going on in their current life. And a lot of people be corny to me and I just sit back and just take it for what it is. Now, Metro Bowman and DJ Academics have not been seen out of eye. And they always have like little problems here and there. But it seems like Academics went up on Metro Bowman after Metro Bowman was being petty and he liked his tweet. Now the tweet said, DJ Academics girlfriend smashed the egg on his face because his Wi-Fi in the middle of a live stream, slammed the door on his mom's hand, cheated on him, had a friend set up a home in Vey, Stole 500k from eight safes in his home. He stayed with her true loyalty 10 toes. Now, pretty much, you know, they're clowning him, man. Pretty much saying that he look like a clown. And to be honest with you, he do. Because, like, ain't no man finna take no woman back after that. Regardless, like, I don't care what it is. You smash an egg on my head, that's petty. Slam a door on my mom finger, that's already a red flag. And you mess with my money. I just, me personally, setting up a home and, like, all that. Like, it's it don't take me most of the time to learn. Like, but, you know, a lot of guys be goofy with a lot of money. Not saying he's one of them, but, like, you know, just look as, you know, somebody that got money. Because no matter if you're a cornball or lame before money, when you get money, it's only going to amplify. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much money you got, if you're lame, you're lame. Now, academics went up, man. He pretty much shared it on his Twitter and said, At Metro Boomer, you a B A Igga. Don't like it's about you, H A Igga. Every time I violated you, you basically ran the touch hotel. At Metro Boomer, your B A ain't responding to Drake. You a known, you know what. Go morning, peace, you sh head. Because if y'all don't know, his mama passed away, sadly. Right? Now, also, uh, he went on to say, uh, Metro Boomer, you a sucker, Igga. Tweeted the leader, a true pure 100%. Fit scale P. Sensitive beat maker who throws stones and hide your hand. Keep mourning you. B A Igga. Keep my effing name out of your likes and mentions. He said, Metro Broom, remember, you the same B A Igga who made no jumper pull an interview with you because your sensitive A didn't change your tempo on that dang day. Your A should be in the studio making beats and stay off Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Now, as you see, he had a lot to say, and you can tell he's been holding that in. Now, academics went on to say that, you know, he's been sparing him. Due to the fact of, you know, um, 21 Savage or whatever the case was, because Savage is really close with academics and Metro Boomer, so he didn't want to burn no bridges. But I'm going to be real with y'all. Um, you mad at the wrong person. Now, to be real with you, bro, you got to just take your L. And to be honest with you, it seems like he is, you know. Um, like I said, bro, the situation with somebody taking 500K from me, bro, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm never going to risk my freedom or nothing like that, bro. But it's on a certain line before I would have, hey, you would have saw me on the uh, um, newspaper. I ain't even been cool. You smashed my mama finger in the door. I don't know how he do it, man. You know, but one thing about it, man, you a sucker, you a sucker. But to be real with you, bro, probably rich in that 500K pretty ain't probably ain't bother him. But him saying go morning, peace and all that is like, I ain't going to lie. That's very insensitive. And if you're going to say something about Mitchell Boomer, say something about all the people because he ain't the first nor the last person that made fun of you on social media. Everybody is clowning you, brand. People been praying on your downfall. They even on Twitter right now saying that he sa somebody, which I ain't even to get into that because I don't even play them type of games. And if it ain't true, that's a bad thing to put on somebody's name. If you know, you know. Go to Twitter and you will see, man. And I don't step on nobody while they down. You feel me? But let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. And let me know. Do y'all feel like... He had a right to go at, uh, at Metro Boomer. Do y'all feel like he overreacted? Do y'all feel like this situation unnecessary? Just let me know how y'all feel about academics in general. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Lucas J. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more, man. And yeah, bro. I'm out.